In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a full beginner's guide to the Judge Me product reviews Shopify app. I'm going to teach you everything you need to know from setting it up, getting it installed in your store, importing reviews, basically everything you can need to know to fully use the app. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to go ahead and do is go to the Judge Me Shopify app store page. It should look like this. I'll leave a link down below for it. And essentially you want to go ahead and press on this button here that says install. And when you do that, it's going to go ahead and install it onto your Shopify store. And it should look a little bit like this. So once you've gone ahead and installed it, you should be able to do this little setup guide. It's going to ask for your language and which theme you'd like to install it on. Uh, and then press start setup. So once you've done that, it's going to ask you to enable the app. So just click on this button here. And it's going to open up your Shopify theme, uh, the editor. And then on the left hand side, it's going to open up the app embed section. It's then going to go ahead and turn on the Judge Me app. Um, and if it doesn't do that, then what you should just do is you should just go ahead and turn it on yourself manually. And you also want to turn off any other apps that might interfere with this. So any other apps that are like review apps, you might want to turn those off. Once you've done that, go ahead and press save. And we can go back here and we can press next step. So the next thing is we need to go ahead and install the review widget. So I'm going to press this button here and in a second it should load up. So basically what it's going to go ahead and do is it's going to automatically add the widget for you, for the reviews widget here. Um, but if you want to add it manually, what you can do is you can basically go to anywhere on your product page and you can basically click the add block button. Then you want to go over to apps and then you've got all of your judge me widgets here so you've got the reviews widget you've got the carousel the text the medals star rating ugc media grid and the verified reviews badge now the ones you'll use mainly is the reviews widget and the uh, reviews badge i believe um, or maybe the stars rating i should say so if we go up to here um, i would recommend going ahead and adding block going down to the stars rating and then I would put that like under the title that will mean that um, there'll be like a star rating here which a lot of you see like that which a lot of a lot of stores actually have so go ahead and save that and then we can go to the next step so press next step and yeah it's going to get us to install the star rating we've just done that we can go ahead and press finish Okay, so now that we have pressed finish, we're inside of the main dashboard here, and it's very, very simple to use. So the first thing we probably want to do is go to the left-hand side and go to the manage reviews section. So inside of here, we can actually uh, add our reviews, that kind of thing. So first of all, we have the all reviews section. So this is going to be all of the reviews for all, all products. We have product reviews, so um, this will be per product, store reviews for the store, spam, and archived. So on the all review section, we can go ahead and actually uh, press import. Uh, and if we press import here, it's going to go ahead and ask us where we want to import our reviews from. So we can get it from the judge me format, which is basically a CSV file, uh, Shopify reviews, Luke's, Yotpo, Air reviews, and they have other apps as well. Um, they also have this AliExpress thing, and I'll show you how that works in a second. But let's say we just want to import some from a CSV. It's going to go ahead and um, give us this sort of form here to upload the CSV. But if you don't have one pre-made, you're going to have to go ahead and actually get one. So we go to this thing where it says need help. And this article is basically going to show you the template here. So you want to open this template. Um, you want to make a copy of it. And any second now, there we go. So now we can actually edit this. So we have title, which is going to be the title of the review. The body means the main text. This is the rating, has to be out of five. This is the date, keep it in this format. We've got the reviewer name, uh, their email, the product URL, uh, this should be the My Shopify URL, and then any pictures that you want to uh, add to that review. Now for pictures, you can upload them into the um, content section here of Shopify. So if I just show you here, we can go down here to files, we can upload a file just like this then we go ahead and copy the link here and if we go and put this in here that's going to be the photo that will show up on the review so now what we can do is we can actually just um, generate as many of these as we want to um, just like that I'm going to make sure that I change the product URL in it so that we get the right product 
I'm just going to go onto the product page and I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to go ahead and paste it on the product URL section here. Um, there we go. And now I can actually go ahead and save this sheet and upload it here. So they want CSV, XLS, or XLSX. I'm just going to do CSV, it's the easiest one. So over here, download CSV. And now we can just click and drag it into here. And we can press import, and that should be ready to go. So there we go, your file was imported. Now as it says, it might take a few minutes for it to actually go ahead and import, so don't worry, and they'll send you an email once um, it's ready, basically. Now down here, as I said, they have the AliExpress tool, which allows you to import them straight from AliExpress. So we can just click on this button that says Install App. It will open up this page here. We just want to paste in our Shopify URL. Uh, press Install. And it should go ahead and add the AliExpress section onto your store. Um, it should just take a second and be ready to go. So you just want to go ahead and press import reviews from AliExpress and it's quite easy to do. So you're going to have to find the URL of the AliExpress product. And let's just say that we're selling these cow slippers. We just want to go ahead and copy this URL and we want to go back over here and we want to paste the link in there. Now in here we have to go ahead and type in the um, product. So it's going to load and then we can just select the product we want that reviews to go to. This is the number of reviews to import. This is the countries to import from. Um, this is just some filters about it has to have pictures, it has to have a certain amount of words. Here we have a translation, so a lot of them will be in Russian, so it will translate it to English. Then we can go ahead and press import reviews, and that should import reviews from the AliExpress link onto your product, just like that. So now that we've gone back to the main um, Judge Me app, we can see here all of the reviews that I just added earlier. They're all loaded in properly. Um, and they're ready to go. We can also go over to each review here and we can edit them manually. So we can press edit review. Uh, we can change stuff about it. Um, and then we can also, you know, hide it, publish it, export it, or delete it if we want to. Now, over here, we've got our product reviews. So we can um, just look at the different reviews for the different products. And you can see these are the AliExpress ones that are now actually importing in, which is quite cool. It's looking pretty good. Then we've got store reviews, this is overall for the store, and then we've got spam and archive. Now over here on the moderation section, we can sort, or we can set up some moderation settings. So we can auto-publish reviews, um, or we can um, manually review them. So it's up to you if you want to um, sort of review them before you publish them. You have review restrictions, so um, you can hide it for people who haven't actually bought anything, that kind of thing. You can get the spam filter, but you have to pay extra for that. Uh, we can sense information and we can block words over here. So a lot of times people might say something like China, AliExpress. A lot of people say that if you're dropshipping, you can put those words in there. And when they say that message, it will automatically block their review out so it won't go onto your page. But that's pretty self-explanatory. We have questions and answers here. So a lot of the time people will ask questions. Um, you can go ahead and import questions and answers um, just so that people don't have to keep asking the same ones and they can find what they're looking for and then we have products and groups here as well so this is for um, when you have like variations of products or that kind of thing you can just put them all under one thing next up we have the collection reviews or how to collect reviews here so um, basically they're going to automatically collect reviews two weeks after the order has been fulfilled but you can change the schedule here so we can press schedule requests and we can basically go ahead and schedule requests for previous orders or we can schedule manual uh, requests via csv file this basically means it will send an email to the customers asking them to give you a review um, we've also got the schedule reminder setting so we can change the time frame um, how many days it is we can change it for international orders we can disable it or enable it on um, delivery based requests meaning that you can connect it up with aftership and stuff like that so once it's delivered then it will ask for a review uh, you've got automatic reminders here and you've got reviews um, for how many items per order, that kind of thing. Next up we have the email template. So this is going to be the templates for the reviews. Um, it's just going to be like, let us know what you think. I'd recommend giving them a discount to be like, um, give us a review and get 10% off your order. 
Um, so you can go ahead and put that in there. Basically, this is very easy to change. You can just change the subject line. You can change the preview text. And you can just edit all of these very simply. Uh, and you can look at it on mobile, desktop. And then you can translate it all over here. You've got your colors. Um, and you've got your blocks here. So it's very easy to actually build this out. Um, you don't need to be an expert. Once you're happy with that, we can go ahead and press save. Now over here we have our email settings, so we've got the store name, the sender name, the emails, the forms, campaigns, uh, and that kind of thing there. And then we have the reviewer notifications, so they can reply. We can send them a reminder if we want to. Uh, we can send them Q&A notification, and we can review confirmation email. Over here we've got our widgets, so essentially this is how we go ahead and actually customize the widgets that we installed earlier on our store. So for example the review widget, we've already installed it. But we can basically go through here and if we pay for the um, upgrade, we can go ahead and actually change the theme of it, um, that kind of thing. We can customize all the colors, so we can just make it look, I don't know, change the colors there if you want to. Um, and you can change the text, you can customize what the, what the text says. There's just basically a lot of settings in here to change the way it all looks. And this is, you know, it's going to be useful to make it look like your store so it all blends in and it's on brand, all that kind of stuff. Next up we have the marketing and social stuff. So here we have the coupon section. We can turn this on and basically this will automatically generate coupons for people who leave a review. So as I said, you can give them 10 to 20% off if they leave a review. Um, and it's just a good incentive. Then over here they've got the coupon code, how it's written, um, the reward conditions, the eligibility, the va uh, validity, uh, all that kind of stuff there. But again, to use all of this, you're gonna have to upgrade your plan. Over here we have referrals, so you can actually set up a referral program within Judge Me as well, pretty simple to do. And then over here we have Google and SEO, so we can set up our Google Shopping and we can do some SEO snippets into our code. We've got this, which is a review site, so basically we can add our own full review page, um, which is pretty useful and it's good for SEO. Yeah, if someone searches your brand and reviews, this page will come up, which is pretty good. Then we have social push, so you can um, basically ask people to get reviews on social media and you can also um, basically put these reviews onto Facebook posts and stuff like that uh, or use as an ad that kind of thing. Then we have our UGC over here, let me just save that. Uh, UGC over here which is just the same thing, it's just going to be a media grid of images and that kind of thing. Now lastly we just have a load of general settings so we have things like the language, the date format, the store language, we have our plan so if you want to upgrade it's $15 a month for the uh, awesome plan which gives you every single feature basically we have our branding um, logos that kind of thing we have integrations here so you can actually integrate a lot of different apps into judge me which is pretty useful we have notifications so where they send it to and then they have advanced so just a few advanced settings but you probably won't need to look at those but that's basically how you go about using the Judge Me app. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. And also comment down below that it helped you out. And also let me know if you have any other videos you'd like me to make on Judge Me or any other topic in general. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.